I loaded up the truck and I headed out to the great north woods where I would begin the work on our vacation rental. bought a house. Let's go check it out. Hey. Hey, welcome home. Oh, thanks. Needs a little work. <laughs> this property is 4.7 acres with 390 feet of frontage on the lake. We were told that this house was built in 1985, but the original structure was more likely built prior to 1950. The house has about 2,000 finished square feet, including the basement, as well as a 700 square foot garage, a 370 square foot shop, a 340 square foot studio garage, and a couple decks. It has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and two kitchens. I survived the trip from Colorado and was really impressed with my little truck. Ooh, this truck is breathing a sigh of relief. It's a beautiful morning on the lake. Many of you who watched the last video in which we were on the search for our property may have guessed that this is the one we were going to choose. And I think we got a really good deal. It was on the market for $179,000. We got it for $175,000, paid cash. And honestly, I think we have already made $50,000 as soon as I signed the thing. When we were last here over a month ago, I only had a few minutes of walking through this property. So there were certain things that I had in my mind about projects that we were going to need to do. But as we've discovered upon looking at it, and this is often the case, some of these projects are a little bigger than I had envisioned. My brother Eyes is here with his son who loves to do demo and they're gonna be here for a few days helping out with the project. My dad's gonna be here then my mom and Poonsi are gonna be here and a buddy Mike is going to come out for much of the summer and help out with the remodel work that we have to do here. My wife and kids stayed back in Colorado to finish up the school year, so I've got about uh, five weeks or so to get the bathroom and some of this upstairs living space much more livable. A lot of things have been left to languish in this house over the past decade or so, but there's also a lot to work with. So I'm seeing just lots of great potential after a a fair amount of hard work. Enough talking, let's go take a look. This place was left in a state of a little bit more disarray than I had hoped. I think when they said they were going to come and clean, what they meant is they were just going to take some stickers off the wall. And then there's cigarette butts and piles of metal, but we're going to deal with it. It's okay. Let's take a look at some of the projects we might work on and some of the quirky things about this house. Nice big, it looks like 2 by 10s on 16s. So that's a beefy structure. And which means we might be able to have a rooftop deck on this flat roof. We've got a vent post here. Actually, that's not holding anything up. <laughs> So we got some a little bit of structural work. We've got a little bit of issues on the floor here. Uh, what we're envisioning for this space, it's a huge garage, probably having like a ping pong table as part of it. We might have some items like bikes and things that the renters can use. And then we'll just try to clean things up a little bit in here. And we have pretty small service, 100 amp service. And we'll try to, we're looking into 
getting that upgraded to a 200 amp service because ultimately we'd like to electrify a lot of the house and do away with natural gas. So I was really excited about this. When we came here last time, we were briefly in here and I didn't remember how big this is, but this is the shop. So what'll be great about this is we'll have a locking door there. This will be a part that is not accessible to any of the tenants. That's it. So we'll get to store some uh, tools and other things for the property in here. No. Operator, please. <laughs> so we get to walk into the basement. So there's a kitchen down here. And uh, our thought here is that this is going to become a wet bar. We'll probably get rid of the stove. We've, got, we've already got this little retro fridge and retro microwave, so we're just gonna kind of cute, try to cuten this up. We can, we've got a little mouse situation, or there was at some point. Uh, haven't seen any recent signs of that, luckily. And we've got these open ceilings, and it's really nice. I mean, I like the structure here. We've got two by eights um, on 16s, so it's a nice solid structure. And we've got some pipes that run below. So these are the for the uh, radiant heating. And I, I like the look of the wood. I think the key is going to be making everything else around it look finished and nice. And then it looks more intentional. Here we've got this ugly, um, I don't know what it is, vinyl flooring tiles that we'll probably just cover right over with some, some kind of uh, laminate uh, uh, fake wood flooring. This will probably be our little entertainment area. A little bit of seating, we've got the bar thing, some maybe activities for kids and games and such. This is the basement bedroom, and this is really going to be the kids' bedroom area. So if we can swing it, we're going to put built-in bunk beds, four beds. So whoever's up on the top bunk is not going to have a lot of headroom. We're going to put an egress window in here. We've got the utility room here, and this boiler is pretty new. And then we've got the well pump situation over here and just a tanked water heater. And then we do have a dryer setup and the washer setup. This is gonna be a full remodel, but it's gonna be our working bathroom until we get the upstairs bathroom remodeled. There's a couple items of interest in here. I thought this was really uh, a, new, a new one. You've got some pipes just kind of hanging out, running right through the shower there. And I guess you can hang your towel on those or whatever. <laughs> and down here it's just uh, falling apart. Yeah, so this is where the main goes out to the septic. And we got some old pipes here. I am not sure what I'm going to do. I may replace some of those. Love these wide stairs here. This is a great way with a wide door to be able to get stuff in through here. This wall, as my daughter said in our first um, visit to this place, we're probably going to get rid of this. Just open this up. There's no reason to have it here. Of course, there's structural reasons, but we're just going to have some post, a post and beam situation across here. Not much to do in the bedrooms for now. I think for now we're just going to keep this paneling. And these are decent sized bedrooms, so we're going to you know, not huge, but decent. So we'll have a queen mattress in each bedroom. First thing to do, we, and we might even start this today. <laughs> start pulling out all this tile, we're gonna pull out this old tub, and we're just gonna have a shower here. I've already ordered the, we actually have the shower pan in the garage. Um, the shower doors should be here in the next couple weeks. And we're just gonna do a gray tile in here. Got a new dual flush toilet. I've got a vanity for this and a vessel sink on the way and then we're going to try to probably put, I'd like to do a custom, a little custom bench top for this or not, but this is going to be a big change and again we, I have about five weeks to make sure that this is fully ready for the rest of my family so they don't leave me. I think we got a lot to work with here in this kitchen. I'm actually 
you know, these aren't the greatest uh, cabinets in the world, but they're functional. And so we're going to keep these. And my daughter had this great idea. We're going to do, she, she loves the idea of green kitchens. I don't know if that's something she learned on TikTok, but we're going to get some green spray paint. We're going to spray paint these all green. We're going to do our custom countertops on these. We may do, possibly do a subway tile uh, backsplash. We may put a window through somewhere to the uh, living room. I, I like this sink. I've actually never seen anything like this. And while we're by this sink, I have not tried the water yet. We stayed at an Airbnb uh, before in the previous video you saw that. And they had well water, as we do here, and it was a little farty tasting, you know, rather farty tasting, sulfuric. And so, here's my first sip of this our well water. Eyes has already had some, so he he knows what I'm about to experience. Okay, so let's get the nose. That's what you're supposed to do, right? And then what? Switch and spit. Choke up. <laughs> I tried to do that. <laughs> it's really good. That's that's some tasty water. I'll just be drinking this out of the tap like that. <sighs> this really is what makes this house to me. And this is what I, we want to really highlight this room. So, like I said, we may have a window just to get a little more connection with the kitchen. Like you want to be able to see into this room, you want to be able to pass drinks through there. We actually are going to take out a good chunk of this wall. So, again, just so we have better flow in here. This is the lake right here. This is the view. And at some point we may add a little more glass here and uh, just really open this room up and this is the place where people are going to congregate. And... This is really interesting. Why would they put a garage right here towards the lake? But it's an exciting opportunity because what an amazing studio this would be. You know, you'll just be able to kind of have this peaceful setting in here and just be able to walk out onto a patio and have an amazing view. We're going up. Oh. Is this stuff for Papa's cottage? Or? We had a good solid truss structure and great insulation in the attic. And while we were up there, I discovered an old Life magazine from 1970 with Johnny Carson on the cover. The latest hits. Wow, Led Zeppelin one. My budget for this project is about $50,000, including my time. I have a before wife arrives and an after wife arrives punch list. Hopefully everything will be done that we want to do in this phase by mid-August. And then we have some future projects that we can work on at a later date. We did a quick walk of the land. We actually don't know where the boundaries are, so at some point we will try to GPS that and get it marked. And I saw some pretty fresh bear poop along the way. At some point I'd like to establish a little trail kind of around the perimeter of the land. But first we gotta figure out where that is. Eyes and I both studied ecology in college. So we're really excited to get a feel for the land here and the geology and even some of the human uh, history of this area.
this is of course the primary reason that we bought this place is that we're on a lake. It has this interesting feature, it's got a bog around the edge of the lake, which is difficult to walk on. <laughs> it's, it's like a floating mat of uh, vegetation. It's a really interesting ecosystem. But I thought one of the interesting things here is that nobody really seemed to use this the lake much of the people that lived here in this house. In order for us to, to people to want to use the lake more, it's, it will need to be more accessible. I would love to have a boardwalk that goes through here, out to the lake, and then a little pier out on the lake where people can access the water for fishing and boating and swimming. So I had a dock guy out here and that would be pretty expensive and it just wouldn't have the look that I would want. It's I'm gonna look into building my own. Subscribe and hammer that bell icon if you want to be notified of some of the upcoming projects in the Northwoods Cottage Adventure. I don't know where the heck I am right now.